today, we have a unique scenario because we're going to swap this old MG4000 unloader for the new BRV unloader. But in this case, I want a nickel-plated brass unloader. I don't want the standard brass. And I only have nickel-plated with the black spring. But you can see from the blue here, I need a 4000 spring, which is blue. Like I said before, the only difference between these is the spring tension. So I can pull the spring off this, put it on this, and I can still set it at 4,000, 3,538, somewhere in that range, and I'm gonna be perfectly fine with my unloader. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out this entire unloader with bypass for the new BRV. And it's gonna go on just like this. After installing all the components, we've got our pressure gauge right here. We've got everything connected. We've got our bypass on the back end. Now we're gonna set our double nut on the pin about a quarter inch to maybe half an inch above the base. And we're gonna put our blue spring on. we've tightened down our locking nut. However, there should still be some play to rise up to the nut. I can't turn it anymore, that's the locking nut. And I can tighten down to the lower double nut. And that should be my max PSI right there. So we're gonna back off a little bit and go in the middle and we're gonna start it up and we're gonna see where we fall. And depending on where we fall, we're gonna adjust to get 4,000 PSI. Based on those readings, the spring tension is not tight enough, so we're gonna bring those double nuts down further to increase the spring tension. I got Kyle here, he's the eyes behind the camera, and uh, he's got a couple questions about why we messed up. So you may have noticed that uh, our pressure gauge was only reading 2,000 on a 4,000 PSI machine. So Mike, why was our unloader not working properly? Good question. I didn't know. We had swapped from black to blue, and then went from blue to black, thinking that there was a variance in the pressure. Uh, it was a new unloader, so it could have been that. And uh, at that point, we realized it's gotta be the pump. So we went over to American Pressure, and they helped us out diagnose what the issue was. Yeah. 